Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Mother's Day action on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Minnesota Twins. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. So the Minnesota Twins have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field. Okay, all set to go. Here's Nico Horner. Next offering upstairs. Ground ball left side and foul ball. And the righty deals. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. One down. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Half checks his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. The 2 1. And that's in for a strike. That one is absolutely belted. Bangs off the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. The other way, puts it away for the out. Roll behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. And the batter will be the shortstop, Royce Lewis. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Ball and three. another ball. The 3 1. Foul ball. Payoff pitch. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. And now it's going to be Michael A. Taylor. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. And fouled off. And he deals. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in the lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. The 3-2 three is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that wall. Kicks and deals. Sets him down looking. Called strike three and a fastball up. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The pitch. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He needed out one. It's been a tough stretch in the plate lately. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. The pitch. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Second inning here, no score. Righty delivers. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2, he goes off speed, gets the out. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. Liner snagged it first. The tag gets him, oh, and it's oh, a bottom half of inning number two. And now for the Twins, Jose Miranda. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Stays alive. Goes down looking. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the bond, step out of the box, agitate him a little bit, do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you've got to figure it out quickly. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. Max Kepler at the plate. The 1-1. One -one. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. And now two and two. Here's a two-two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. The 2-2. Two -two. And that one hammered. This one's got a chance. And that one's gone. Max Kepler knocks one out. It's his sixth home run of the season, and that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. Here's Trevor Larnick. Next offering is in for a strike. This one in the air right field. Suzuki has a beat on it. And makes the grab. And that's the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Trey Mancini now. Chris, you know what they call Mancini. Boom, boom. That's right. For Ray Mancini, the famous boxer. It stuck when he started hitting home runs, though, in baseball. Next offering is fouled back. Yeah, good power hitter on the field, but a really good human being off the field. And in fact, in 2021, he was named the AL Comeback Player of the Year after beating stage three colon cancer in 2020 and became a real inspiration to many around the league. Here's a one-two. Now one missed. And it's filled up. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. But when you see that many pitches in an at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. And now the batter is Tucker Barnhart. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. the string with the changeup struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Flips it for one. And they can't buy a break. Their third double play. Back here at the ballpark set for the bottom of the third. Now here is Ryan Jeffers. In the air right field. Suzuki has a beat on it. He makes the grab. And there's one down. Here's Royce Lewis. Ball to strike. The pitch. 
That one hammered center field. That's back there. Out of here! When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Swing and a miss struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes. Swing and a miss struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Minnesota solo shot extends the lead. Back at target field. New inning getting started. Here's the second baseman. Nico Horner. Out towards right center field. Taylor gliding to his left. Racing makes the catch. And there's one away. Ian Happ up to hit. Doubled his first time up. And right back to the mound. Two up, two down. Dansby Swanson stands in. And the right-hander deals. And that one lifted in the air center field. Taylor settles underneath it. Makes the catch. And that is that. Back in Minnesota, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Joey Gallo. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, these twins showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the there name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. He was all over that one. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Not in time. He's safe. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. And now two and two. Sit down on strikes. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. And next for Minnesota, Trevor Larnick. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Cody Bellinger. Here's a one-two. And a ball evens the count. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. That's towards center. And it falls. And the leadoff man aboard. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, okay. I'm sure he's feeling some relief. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to, and you're never trying to... There's one. Relay to first, double play. Now it's the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. And a pitch. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning, Brian Jeffers at the plate. One, two now. In the air, out towards right center. Bellinger coming on. And puts the squeeze on that one. One away. So the lineup flips over. Royce Lewis, the next twin up to hit. He's already homered here in this one. 
right side. He's got it. And there's two away. So up next for Minnesota, Michael A. Taylor, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And he dropped it. <laughs> the one-two. Fights it off, he'll see another. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight. And Back here at the ballpark, and here's the first baseman, Trey Mancini. Trey Mancini. Good eye right there. You know, these Cubs showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. Hard ground ball, base knock. Tucker Barnhart on, now Tucker. at the plate. The pitch. And that one got a piece of him. That really wasn't a bad pitch on, at Eddie. all, but hitters these days just aren't afraid to get up on top of the plate. Edwin Rios here. He hit into a double play his first time oh, up. Good out, kid. Next Your pitch help. misses, and that's ball three. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Brings it in. Runner tags at second. Tag out at third. And that's a double play. Nico Horner, the next Cub to hit. Mm -hmm. The 1-1. One -one. That's down and in. That one is upstairs. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. That's hard hit on the line. Larner makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. <sighs> well, we go bottom six. And now for the Twins, Jorge Polanco. Next offering misses. Now three and one. Just one of these series, you know? Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. I would like to score a run. Yeah, you know, that'd be nice. The punch out there oh, and yeah. one gone. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, There's pitcher and catcher on the left. same page right uh -huh. now. One down, base is empty. Fought off foul. Happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the Thank hands back long do. enough to foul that pitch off. Oh, good. Good foul. 2-2 two, two now. And now it's filled up. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. Look at him working hard out there. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Two outs, base is empty. And next for Minnesota, Jose Miranda. Lifted in the air, right center field. And that's the third out. Twins are And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Ian Hack. And a 2-1 on the way. Line drive, caught! So digging in, Dansby Swanson. That one ripped right center field, way back there. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Next offering is fouled back. Wait. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Larnick has a beat on it. Drops into the glove. And that is that. 
Back at target field. Here's Alex Kirilov. Swing and a base hit. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here's the left fielder, Trevor Larnick. And a foul ball. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. And now the count is even. Kirilov, the base runner at first with one out. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And that'll do it. Twins what? Back in Minnesota. And here is Patrick Wisdom. And a 1 1. And downstairs. In the air, left field down the line. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. Popped up. And it drops in. So a man aboard now with one away. Here comes the manager out of the... Jorge Lopez gets the ball now. He last pitched two days ago. Number 95. He'll play first base after the injury. So now pinch hitter for the Cubs. Eric Hosmer, runner on first and one down for him. The next offering misses. And a count two and one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Next one misses, and the count's full. So, here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal. Runner on the move. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Three-two. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, a breaking ball in that three-two count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And here's the catcher, Tucker Barnhart. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Yoan Duran, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, it quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. And now it's even up. Suzuki on second. Hosmer at first. Two out of the inning. In the air, left field. Larnick racing to the right. Snags it on the run. And that'll do it. So remaining in the game defensively, Eric Hosmer. He pitch hit last half and now takes over at first. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Brad Boxberger. Well, he's got electric stuff coming out of the pen. His strikeout rate, though, is through the roof so far this season. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a ground ball out to short. On the run, sends it over to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Michael A. Taylor will hit next. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list.
So now one and two. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Two outs, space is empty. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Next offering down in the dirt. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Yohan Duran comes on now. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at-bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And he turns and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Runner at third here. Nobody out. That's a hit. <laughs> Runner from third comes across, and now they trail by one. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. A one-two. Registers the punch out and hits 101. Bellinger up to hit. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Going to count one and two. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. And a one two. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. Oh, a really nice three-game home series sweep. They came out 